Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how to build some very simple grassy, rocky, crag, plateau type things that'll add a little bit of elevation to your tabletop, add a little bit of line of sight blocking terrain, and generally just dress up everything. These are very simple, and these were inspired, if not directly, taken from videos from Winters SEO and Wylock. If you don't follow those two channels, they absolutely recommend them. Both of them are fantastic. This is sort of a mix between the two. Uh, Winters uses a different technique to do a rocky texture on the sides, and then makes the grassy plateaus. Wylock uses this technique for the texture on the sides that I'm doing and then makes the leaves the plateaus rocky and uh, gravelly on top without the grass. And I like the grass and I like the, uh, the other rocky texture so I combine the two and this is what we came up with. All right, so the first step is to get some foam and here I'm using insulation foam. I got this for pretty cheap out of a construction recycling type place where people brought old construction materials. Um, this one was an inch thick and I've cut it into circular-ish shapes to make my craggy plateaus. What I'm doing is taking a crafting knife and just scoring along the edges, first horizontally and then vertically and this will allow me to take a butter knife is what I use and scrape along the sides and that creates a nice rocky texture on the edges of the foam. You can see I'm dragging the knife across the scored edges just back and forth until it tears up the foam well enough that it looks like a nice uh, rock texture and then I use my fingers to brush off any loose bits that were about to fall off anyway. And you'll be able to see it better once it's painted but that does create a nice rough random and somewhat rocky looking texture on the edges of the foam. So now I've got all of my pieces, the sides textured. I've got them stacked up uh, in an order that makes sense to me. And I just cut all these shapes out randomly. I made some bigger ones and made some smaller ones and then just stacked them up in an order that looked good. And you can see these are a little bit smaller pieces. These are mostly just for a line of sight blocking. These aren't necessarily big enough for um, your guys to stand on top of certainly not whole squads maybe a character or two and then I'm using a hot glue gun to glue them together and hot glue works perfectly well for this uh, as it's quick and glues them together nicely you can use PVA glue but that'll just take a, a while to dry next I use PVA glue to attach some rocks as if they had crumbled off the sides and using PVA glue here is a, a better choice than hot glue because hot glue does not recede as it dries PVA glue kind of shrinks and uh, you can't 
see it from underneath the rocks once it's dried whereas hot glue does not recede at all and so you can see the glue texture through the rocks which is not I don't feel like it looks uh, very good when you go to try and paint it you can kind of tell that there's glue in amongst the rocks and I don't look like the way that it looks so I just pick out a few areas where it looks like rocks might have crumbled off of the sides of the, uh, the cliff faces there and then just sprinkle some small gravel um, over the glue and then you've got to let this sit for quite a while uh, to let the rocks dry and you definitely want to make sure the glue is dry before you start painting it because the the wetness of the paint will just uh, pull the rocks right out of the glue if it hasn't dried completely you just kind of shake it off and get the loose rocks off of there and set it aside and wait for it to dry now you can see what I've done is base coated everything black uh, for this I used acrylic paint uh, just cheap paint from Walmart and watered it down pretty decently so that it would run into the cracks very easily uh, you could spray paint this but you need to seal it with something first as the spray paint will dissolve the foam so if you were to cover it in PVA glue first you would be able to spray paint it but then of course you'd need to wait for the glue to dry as well and then what I do is take some cheap black paint some cheap white paint that's a little off-white paint not pure white and mix it together to create a nice medium gray and start to dry brush the textures on the sides you can see the dry brushing really brings out the rock texture very nicely uh, dry brushing is an incredibly simple technique that is really easy to make uh, look good just get some paint on a brush uh, scrub it into a paper towel to get most of the paint off so that the paint on the brush is pretty dry and a little sparse and then you can just rub it across the textures on whatever it is you're painting and you can see in this case it deposits the light colored gray on the the exposed edges and of the texture and leaves the the black in the recesses which creates a nice shadow and the, the light gray highlights the edges of the rock making them look uh, like rock rather than just black and then I add a little bit more white to my gray to make it quite a bit lighter just to do a second layer of dry brushing which will highlight the edges and the textures even more and with the white color, the lighter color, you want to be quite a bit more sparing with the dry brushing just to highlight the most extreme edges of the rocks. And you can see I just hit everything very lightly and then kind of approach things from the top down uh, where the light would be hitting the tops of the rock. And certainly wouldn't be illuminating the undersides you know so I go uh, from the top down after I get the edges highlighted nicely to a point where I like it next after that dry brushing has dried and that doesn't take long to dry at all because of how dry the paint is to begin with I just use some PVA glue to uh, spread over the the top areas of the little plateaus to be flocked now if you didn't want this to be grassy you could have when you uh, put the gravel on you could have covered these areas in sand to make them look a little bit more interesting and textured or you could do some sand here and flocking there I chose to do flocking all over because I like the the nice contrast of the grass with the rock I think it looks interesting and sort of brightens up the pieces so I deposit glue in areas where I think it should go and I can you can see I'm hitting them this little smaller uh, parts that come out to add little bits of color in amongst the larger masses of rocks I pick out all the areas I want and I add glue there uh, so I don't forget anything as I'm going and then I use a brush to spread it around
And then once you got the glue spread out across the entire piece in areas where you want it, I just uh, cover everything in flock. And this flock is homemade that I just uh, use some cheap paint to dye some sawdust and then uh, stuck it in the oven to dry it out at a low temperature. And it works pretty well. It was incredibly cheap. The sawdust was free. The paint was about 50 cents and it was very simple. So uh, this is what I've been using to flock things that don't need to look absolutely perfect. And I mean, it looks pretty good as far as I'm concerned. So I just uh, cover all the glue and flock. I make sure to pile it on kind of deep uh, so that the glue has a chance to absorb into everything that it wants to, you know. Uh, to create a nice layer of flock once everything's done and then I just let it sit to dry for a few hours the glue will take again probably about 24 hours to dry completely but I let it sit uh, probably about six hours in this case before shaking all the excess flock off you could do that immediately but uh, I just wanted to let the glue take hold a bit and everything that it was going to to try and increase the the thickness of the layer of flock so I didn't get a you wouldn't be able to see the black uh, foam underneath the grass and then I just uh, turn it over and, and tap it off and you can see it leaves a nice uh, good looking layer of green flock on top which adds a nice contrast to the rocks I think it uh, looks pretty nice and then I let these sit for a uh, overnight to let the glue continue to uh, dry completely and again this is what your finished product could look like um, again very simple very effective uh, just really the only part that takes any amount of time is just waiting for the PVA glue to dry in the various steps and that's really the most significant part uh, this is what a few pieces look like on the battlefield with a few uh, models set up the two that were shown in this video were two of the smaller pieces. I also made some larger pieces uh, with a little bit more space on top, a few more levels, uh, blocked a little bit more line of sight, you know, to uh, create a more dynamic battlefield. So the, again, the two that I showed are just the two smaller pieces that I made to add accents to areas that needed some uh, more attention. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments or any ideas for future videos, anything you'd like more information on, please comment down below. Like, subscribe, tell a friend. See you around.